I want to share two prophetic experiences that I had with you fairly recently. The first one took place Thursday night, October 29th. I was sound asleep in my bed and I was awakened by the audible sound of my TV remote being slammed on my night table. It sat me straight up in my bed. It's kind of difficult to explain because I knew I was completely asleep, but while I'm asleep, I heard a sound that would have been like, you know, the kind of sound you would have heard when you were actually awake. So it caused me to awaken out of my sleep, which is really important. We need to pay attention to that. And I remember sitting up straight in my bed and I said, Lord, what was that? And he said, sternly, I mean, it was clear as clear could be, put away the distractions. Then almost a week later, six days later, uh, on Wednesday, November 4th, and I believe that's significant because it was on the sixth day that God made man. And I think these two experiences were six days apart for a reason, as if the Lord was saying, hear, O oh man, what it was or what it is that I'm wanting to say to you right now. And I don't believe this is just a word for me, which it certainly is, but I believe it's a word for all of us corporately. While I'm asleep, Wednesday, November 4th, I am awakened again by the sound of a hand smacking a wall twice. And it was loud and it was it was hard. It was like bang, bang. And I sat up straight in my bed. And again, I felt like the Lord said to me, it is urgent. So this is what I want to say to you. Hey, guys, if it is taking you from his face, it's not properly nourishing you. The other thing I want to say is this. I believe God is urgently telling us to put away every distraction right now that is taking us away from these upper room moments, that is taking us away uh, from the pursuit of a greater baptism in the Spirit. I believe the enemy is terrified right now of you and I getting alone with the Lord and waiting upon Him for this fresh baptism, this new baptism, what I would call a necessary baptism. So guys, whatever that looks like... And I believe the Lord's going to give you insight just from watching this video. I believe the Lord, I don't need to call specific things out. I believe the Lord can quicken your heart just through that word. Listen, put away the distractions. I believe in just hearing that, you know exactly what it is that I'm talking about. The Holy Spirit is much better at revealing those things to you than me just calling out random things that maybe universally a lot of us struggle with. I know I could do a much better job myself of not always just pulling out my phone and looking down upon it. I have been asking the Lord, Lord, if it's a distraction, take it away. I feel a renewed passion around getting alone with him and making this the point. Guys, if it's taking you from this one thing that I believe God is all asking us to do right now, it's not worth it. Put it aside. Make seeking him and this baptism your goal and your delight in Jesus' name. Guys, thank you for watching this video. I pray that those experiences do something, that they encourage you again, relight the fire, um, or speak to you personally about, hey, if it's taking you from his face, it's not worth it. If it's taking you away from crying out for, for a greater baptism in the spirit, it is not the Lord right now. Guys, as, as always, subscribe to the channel. Visit the YouTube page. Um, um, subscribe, click the notification bell, uh, get the word out, share it on your social media platforms. Let people know what it is that the Lord is up to. Leave us a like, a comment, anything to let us know how these videos are encouraging you. It's our delight to do them for you. We pray as always you guys are strengthened. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.